Hello, my name is Zan, and today I'm going to uh, give you a review of another ROM that I really love. This time, this is Pixel Experience for the Galaxy J7 2016 edition. And it is undoubtedly one of the fastest ROMs that I've ever used. Let's begin. So what I have here is my Galaxy J7 2016 running on Android 9 Pie on Pixel Experience. And uh, if you really want to get this great ROM on your phone, you can go ahead and click on the little I button at the top right corner, where it will take you to the uh, install it in all the tutorials on how to install it. Make sure to flash Oxygen Current. Now, as the name Pixel Experience implies, this is about all about bringing all pixel features to the Galaxy J7. So you can expect all of the great stuff like pixel launcher, pixel wallpapers, uh, pixel icons, uh, always on display, now playing, and the uh, Google Sans font pre-apply, which is actually better than the images implementations that you have seen out there. Now as far as customizations is concerned, since this ROM is all about plain and simple, and uh, this is a pixel-centered uh, ROM, you could don't expect some anything too fancy like smart pixels or the OnePlus gesture navigation. Those aren't simply there. Instead, you do get some handy tweaks, like uh, in settings, you can change the uh, device theme to white, black, or dark. Additionally, you can also change the accent color. Uh, you also have the, the uh, hardware keys remapping, which, are, which is cool. And we have some status bar related tweaks like the uh, network traffic monitor, which all sounds cool, but they aren't up to the level of something like Havoc OS, which is currently the king of customization. Now, this is a pixel ROM, so uh, you should expect all the pixel features, except for one feature, and that's call screen. Uh, that's actually fine, since you can enable it using a widget module called Pix3 Refi. Now, there is all the trade-offs for all of the lack of customizations that I've just mentioned, and that's performance. Now, if I had described this ROM's performance in two words, it would be fast and lag-free. Now, I've never really seen anything like this before. Very fast, smooth, everything from scrolling the home screen to playing games like, in this case, playing with the zombies, is all a fun and nonchalant experience. That's all thanks to the amazing pixel optimizations that Google has put into the Pixel and then ported over to the J7 for this ROM. And also the amazing optimizations from the kernel side. In this case is Oxygen Kernel, which manip manipulates all of the under the hood operations like I.O. and CPU clock speed. Now no ROMs are perfect and this is no exception. This ROM shares with many other AOSP ROMs a handful of bugs that has been haunting the J7 users for a while now. One of which is the infamous Deep Sleep. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, that has been haunting me, that has been a nightmare for many ROMs and for many users uh, out there, uh, causing very dramatic battery drain in idle state. Uh, now, there is a glimmer of hope though, because as of shooting this video, there has been a new uh, Lineage OS ROM by the developer that claims to have fixed Deep Sleep. Uh, which, you know, gave us a bit of a hope that, you know, the fix will make its way to the Pixel experience, at least in a new build. But for now, we are stuck with one day battery life best. Now to give you a better idea, uh, I had my usage consisting of uh, hours of social media, hours of YouTube, 
and a bit of gaming of playing with the zombies and dunk shots and with that type of usage I was able to get 5 hours and a half of stand of on screen time uh, you know which is a really good battery life but you know in order to squeeze out that much of a number like that I have to sort of prevent the phone from sleeping I have to use the phone like intensively you know no no resting no nothing you know um, uh, nothing that will cause the deep sleep bug will sort of inter interfere with uh, my, uh, my, my day and so that's why I was able to get that number and uh, then there are some obvious other bugs like uh, BOLTE and NFC those are all Samsung proprietary features that require a Samsung phone there's no way out of that, it's out of the questions uh, then there's Bluetooth uh, it works but uh, if you connect to a wireless headset uh, the audio is really buggy uh, and then there's a unique one, unique bug for this ROM and that's the home button wake up you can see that I cannot use the home button to wake up the phone despite the fact that it works uh, fine in any other uh, ROMs you can see that right? it works just fine but uh, if your phone is off you have to use the power button to wake up the phone that's all the bugs that I found within this ROM now so what do I think about this ROM to be honest I love it this is the best ROM you can ever get on your J7. It's fast, it's smooth, it provides a black free experience and if you just want a fast ROM just to boost up your slow ass J7, this is the one to get. Uh, there are some other alternatives though. If you want a heavy loads of customizations on your house then you got the uh, Havoc OS. If you want a bug bug free and still provide good experience go for one UI ROM like um, Blackbird or the Chase 7 NXT port or but uh, needless, needless to say if you want a gener generic, genetically fast smooth ROMs in uh, covering every aspect then this is the one to get thank you and I hope you find my uh, review fun and informative and fun I like the way the new uh, style of shooting and if you love it uh, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more contents like this anyways thank you and goodbye